I talked to a lot of people in AEW about this today. And man, I didn't hear one person say that this was good. Hmm. Okay? And then I had other people there that were like, I have no idea how this got to the ring. Like, I'd have fought somebody if I knew this was going to go through the curtain. Like, furious at this. Brian, Brian and Vini, along with Granny and Craig and Lance show today. Vinny, you're at uh, Lance's house. Getting in close and uh, cuddly here today. Went to a surprise Super Bowl party. Of course, the game went to overtime, which I missed because I was coming here to do my job. Oh, so, wow. Fun. Vinny Very missed fun. one of the hottest Super Bowl finishes ever because he had to go to Lance's house. Taylor Swift appears to be a really good booker. I, I hear she won the Super Bowl. Is that right? Uh, she, she did, and she booked a hell of a finish. But you know, Worst one thing zipper. I got to say, you know, I, I don't want to go off on this because people get mad about it, but I fucking hate these rankings. They're going to win nothing happening matches over nothing happening guys to move up in the rankings. This is not a gimmick, and it's not a bit. Okay, the rankings make me enjoy this show less, and that pisses me off. But especially on Collision, I was really getting my panties in a twist, as they say. The way this guy's mask droops down in front, I thought he was doing an aardvark gimmick. (laughs) Maybe he was. (laughs) This crowd was quiet. Well, 1800. Oh. It didn't sound like that many. Well, there's not so a lot of in... drama to the BCC versus the Aardvark and the other guy. The world is there for the Super Bowl. There's hundreds of parties. There's concerts. The Black Crows were in town. Green Day was in town. You name it. And they drew 1,800 fans. Yeah. That's pathetic. Sad. When the first set of rankings came out, everybody was like, how in the fuck are FTR not ranked in the tag team rankings? So the new rankings came out yesterday, and FTR is now ranked number five. Did they have a win in that time? They've had zero tag team matches since the first set of rankings came out. There's a universe where you have to get ranked to get a title shot, and then there's another universe where you just ask for it and they give it to you. Well, what the fuck is it? Vinny's hanging out in Calgary... Apparently today he ran into filthy Tom Lawler. Picture's on my Twitter if you haven't seen it yet. Be sure you look at the comment underneath that photo. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Craig just saw it, apparently. Tom should make some money off that. Tell us who your all-time favorite wrestler is without telling us who your all-time favorite wrestler is. Do you understand this contest, Granny? Not really. I met him at Rev Pro Uprising, your call in 2014, where he went on to make Party Marty Skrull tap out after his match with a now wrestling president. Uh, Mike here says that Rev Pro 2014, Marty Skrull lost to Danny Birch. (laughs) That couldn't possibly be who this person is talking about, right? Danny Birch is your favorite wrestler on the earth? There's no one on earth who the best food for them Trumping all other possible foods is a pork chop. None. What is that sound? Is it a fire? I think Craig's messing with something over there. Uh. Is that you, Granny? What? Who's messing with something over there? Craig, what are you doing with your hands? They're right here. Is there a sock over there? Okay, is there a ghost in someone's house? Sometimes I think I have ghosts in here. The back of my chair kind of... They jiggle it and stuff like that. Ghosts in your house jiggle your chair. Yeah. Usual Undertaker entrance. Edge comes in. Could you describe that for us? I'm not sure we know the usual Undertaker entrance. Please. Boing, 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 okay. boing, and all that. Okay, that one. Oh, that's right. Uh, Harry Truman was next. Oh, yeah, the president's. Truman was uh, the president that uh, threw the bomb on Hiroshima and Nakasaki. <laughs> Like a shot put? I think that's done with him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's nothing more than he did. Brian Danielson and Kofi was fucking awesome. Triple H and Batista was the goddamn most boring fucking match I've ever seen in my life. And then the main event, let's go as fast as we can for 20 minutes. Call the spots as loudly as humanly possible. And then fuck up the finish and we'll all get the fuck out of here. That's my review. John Moxley versus Dax Harwood. So it was Valentine's Day, so there was a little bit of sex here, but mostly violence. This was my Valentine. It was. 
And then Hangman comes out. Hangman TA at this point. And people are just pissed at him. He hate this guy. We had top heel Samoa Joe, top heel Swerve, and top babyface Hangman. And now suddenly, Joe is beloved, Swerve is beloved, and people hate Hangman. It didn't really happen all at once, obviously, but this felt like the first triple turn in pro wrestling. It basically was. Yeah. I nurtured you on my bosom of brilliance, and you suckled on my teat of talent, but now you've bit the tit that feeds you. She likes them titties. It's okay for main eventers to just beat guys. You don't have to panic and make sure they look good in the process. Just kick ass and win. There are a lot of people in this promotion that want to put people over. And somebody needs to put their foot down. I'm talking about you, Brian Danielson. And the Young Bucks here. And many, many others. And then we had the interview, which apparently everyone's talking about. Thank God there was an EVP here with a sense of brains. And I'm not talking about Kenny Omega. At which point... The crowd boisterously, passionately chants for the biggest baby face in the other promotion. I talked to a lot of people in AEW about this today. And man, I didn't hear one person say that this was good. Hmm. Okay? And then I had other people there that were like, I have no idea how this got to the ring. Like, I'd have fought somebody if I knew this was going to go through the curtain. Like, furious at this at this segment right here. So yeah, the follow-up was, uh, I don't know if I'd go as far as say pitiful. That seems strong. Mercedes is coming in. I think she is coming in as a baby face and Willow will turn heel so we can do that match again and Mercedes can get her win back. Uh. That was suggested to me by somebody. I had not thought of it. But upon further reflection, that very well may be what's going on here because I can't think of any other reason, including that reason, by the way, to turn Willow Nightingale heel. Yeah, that makes no sense. How many fucking heels do we need in this company? Do you realize one of the problems with WWE was all the heat and we had nothing but heels? One of the things about AEW is it's supposed to be different. I think that Von Wagner is turning on Mr. Stone. Oh, no. Because he's Uncle Von. Get the kids crying. Chokeslam the kids. Turn on Mr. Stone. Chokeslam in front of his kids. Not the kids, you geek. You know how we have the Hall of Awesome? (laughs) I do. We need to have a Hall of Shit. The Lyra, Valkyra, Tatum, Paxley storyline. It is the worst storyline in all of wrestling. I hate this storyline more than the Miro storyline. Wow. I hate it more than the AEW rankings. I can't think of anything I hate more in this business, storyline-wise, than Tatum, Paxley, and Lyra, Valkyra. Seven days ago. Brother, he's had time to think. Josh Briggs tore this man a new asshole. <laughs> he did. And apparently the version has been pissed about it for seven days. Yes. He storms in and says, I've grown some balls. <laughs> and they have a fight. He was just giving him a little bit of tough love last week, and this virgin lost his mind. You know what this reminded me of, Vinny? You. Guys, there's something I would do, yeah. Yeah. I, I would remember some slight... Just absolutely snap. I, I, would, I would totally snap and overreact to an event that happened in the distant past no one yes. else even remembers. Yes. Yes. 100%. This is me. He is an excellent virgin. <laughs> Thank the gods of wrestling for this match. This saved this show from being the most hated NXT in a long, long time. It was fucking great. I love the wolf dogs. I like Tony D and Stax a lot. 